So the head joint is where we're going to start what we call embouchure, which is how your mouth should be shaped to play the flute effectively. Before we can start on the head joint though, we need to understand what our embouchure is supposed to look and feel like. So to have a really nice flute embouchure, what we're going to need to do is make our lower lip nice and pouty and very relaxed. And then our upper lip just acts as kind of a guide or beak to make a small air hole and direct our air. I like to put my uh, finger right under my lip to kind of synthesize a flute. So once we have a nice fleshy lower lip and our directing upper lip, when I breathe in, I'm breathing in on how, and when I breathe out, I want my air to be super small and really directed. So it's like a laser pointer. And I want it to be cold. So if you breathe against your hand, that's gonna feel really warm. But then breathe really quickly and really small and you'll notice that it's really cool. See that? All right, so you want the second option. You want it to be cool air. And so a good way to kind of practice flute before you get on the actual instrument or even the head joint. So put your finger here so you know what the lip plate is going to feel like. And then put your other hand in front of your face like this. Breathe in on how. And when you exhale, get that cool air stream going and you want to direct your air. So first, you're gonna breathe right into the palm of your hand, so right at the center, and then try to direct your air to the bottom of your hand, and then all the way up to the top. Now you only wanna do this with your top lip. Your bottom lip should stay exactly where it is the whole time, okay? So let's try this. It takes a lot of air. If you run out quickly, it's okay, it's normal, and you'll get used to it. So once you have that under your belt, we can move on to the head joint. The head joint is the part of your instrument that's gonna look like this. There are three parts of your instrument that we'll talk about a little bit later, but this is your head joint. This top part is called the crown, and it's gonna be curved, and it's gonna hold a cork inside of it. This other end is the part that's gonna go into the body. The hole right there is gonna be called the tone hole. In this area around it is called the lip plate. I'll give you a clue. It's because that's where your lip goes. So we're going to replace our finger with the lip plate, just like that. The tone hole should be pointing towards the ceiling and your lower lip should just touch the tone hole. So when you talk, you can hear a little bit of feedback through that. Okay, so now that we've done this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the crown with our left hand. We're gonna put our right hand right on the edge, the end of the head joint to kind of make a tunnel, an arrow tunnel. We're gonna put it there, and then we're just going to breathe in on a how and let out on a poo, just like we practiced. If you were going to be doing this on your hand, you'd be breathing right into the center or right below it. Isn't that crazy? The next thing that we have to learn on the head joint is articulation. What's articulation, you might ask? Articulation is what we use every day to make our words. And it's the same thing with music. It's how we separate our sounds in music. So in flute, we do this with our tongue, and it's called tonguing. Now, there's a funny little anecdote for how you tongue on a flute. So imagine you're at your dinner table. You're just having a great old time with mom and dad and brother. And so you're eating this lovely rice dish, except you don't like it. So you decide to start spitting your rice. So... If you're in the lower octave of your flute,
you're going to be spitting it right back down onto your plate. It's gross, guys. If you're in the middle register of your flute, your brother has been driving you crazy all night and all day and all morning. And it's time for revenge. He's across the table from you and he's about to get rice in his eyeball. So, you have the rice in your mouth, you look brother straight in the eye and you say, So that's for your middle register. And then for your upper register, you miss. You're aiming for brother. And it, 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 it goes real high. And it hits mom who's standing behind him square on the back of the head. You might be in trouble, but your flute tonguing won't be. So, if that's where brother is, mom's over there. Now, when you're playing the flute, you're not actually going to be making these sounds. But the feeling that your tongue is making against the tip of your teeth, that's what we want. So, tonguing on flute is going to sound like this. We're in a lower octave right now. Isn't that cool? It's like making musical words. I love it. So... You want to practice? Take out your head joint. I know you already have. And you're just going to put it right there. I'm going to play a phrase and then you play a phrase. Remember to breathe in on how, out on foo. Now you've learned the basics of the head joint. For beginning flute players, you should practice on your head joint every day before you play for at least a couple of minutes, just so that you can remind yourself of your embouchure, how to breathe properly, and how to tongue correctly. Got it? I know you do. Okay, so in the next video, we're gonna talk about how to put this whole bad boy together. <laughs>